do you see this as a whitewash venue? Um, certainly hope so. Um, this packed will be something special. I get to see a golden year. As we've seen in other sports, this venue packed is, uh, is a really exciting place to be a part of. Back in 2016, um, you had to make your Super Rugby debut. Were, were you at the, uh, the, uh, sorry, the Super Football Stadium to watch something good? No, nah, I was down at the ANZ one, but uh, same same series. Um, but yeah, here was a real exciting, um, real exciting venue to play at. Um, like I said, the, to get footy back in around this area, I think the locals would uh, really like that. It's been your experience of playing Super Rugby. Obviously, it hasn't been a test here. Some fans might not particularly feel like it's the greatest venue for rugby. What's it like out in the middle? Um, yeah, I feel like that. Uh, that can also be counteracted when you get a full crowd here. Um, they'll really bring up the atmosphere. Um, and yeah, like in any sporting um, setup, the more the more fans there, um, makes it that bit more special out in the middle there. Yeah, your injury rehab going. Uh, are you a chance for that series? And can you sort of talk through that time frame you spoke of and sort of when you might know whether or not you're going to play any more footy this year? Um, yeah, my injury, I'm just tracking it how it goes. Um, it's a bit of a weird one. Um, well, with nerves, uh, it's not a set time, so um, yeah, just kind of uh, wait and see. And um, yeah, it's it's not it's not really up to me. It's just a matter matter of time. Is that us through that return to play? Is it you have to go through the doctors? Is it something you just got to wait to get it all clear? And do you have a particular time frame that you're looking at? Maybe at the end of Super Rugby season? Um, yeah, like I said, it's just it's just that it's a time it's a waiting thing. There's nothing uh, modern medicine that you can really do. Um, with these sort of things, um, and yeah, we just got to all hope that it comes back soon because I'm stinging to get out there. Just on England, I mean, it's a side which the Wallabies have struggled with. Since, I think it's since 2000 that sort of series here in Australia. Why is this year going to be different for the Wallabies in your view? Um, well, I just feel like we've got um, that campaign uh, last year, and we were building nicely. Um, We've had a similar sort of uh, squad with um, Dave Rennie and that coaching staff in for a while now. Um, he's been cementing um, the same sort of patterns and uh, sort of plays. Um, so that for that for the third uh, year will be a good uh, trending. Lockie, what can you tell us uh, the victory against Dean like not only for the ground, but uh, getting one against the old enemy? What would that be like? Everyone likes to beat England. Yeah. No, that would be huge. Um, I was at the, sitting in the stands at the Twickenham game and uh, it was pretty hostile from their side of things. So it would be nice to see the shoe on the other foot, get them down here with all, uh, all the gold supporters um, and give it back to them would be awesome. What have you made of their recent form, Six Nations form? Yeah, I was actually really impressed. Um, as I'm sure you all know, they're a world-class team um, through forwards and backs just uh, and throughout the whole squad. They've got some good depth. Um, but, but yeah, uh, matching up against our squad, I'm, I'm pretty confident that we can put a good performance in. And just kind of look, the depth is right across the back row at the moment. It's, it's building right across. Mm. It's, you know, obviously, Ronnie Valentini is going to do well, Harry Wilson. Um, you know, I dare say you, you feel like you could make a real point of difference there as well. With the back of the yeah, definitely. Um, the competition is definitely, uh, especially in that back row position, like you said, is probably one of the um, most competitive spots. Um, I think I've said it before that that competitive within the squad is uh, is something every squad needs. Um, even if um, it, it might not be the greatest for me personally, but if we consider ourselves a um, a world class team, which I think we do, uh, we're going to need to have that competition within our squad. And even though you haven't been playing, you're still on that 40 man training squad just the other earlier in the month. Um, what did Dave and the rest have to kind of say about you and your development? Um, just get, just get my body right. I gotta get like there's no, there's no lie. I just gotta get back out playing as soon as possible. Um, that's my first priority. Um, and then once that happens, we can start implementing uh, technical stuff, I guess. There was a bit of talk overnight about Tolo Latu um, potentially returning to Australia rugby. You played with us in the Sydney Union. Um, someone like him, <coughs> who played at the last World Cup, would, would he be a valuable contribution again to, to anyone in Australia? Oh, definitely. Um, I don't know if have been watching him much. He's, a, he's an awesome player. Uh, like you said, I personally played with him. I know what he can bring. Uh, physicality, both sides of the ball, and his set piece is very clinical. So. Um, yeah, he's definitely the person you want in your squad and uh, hope to see him in the mix.
he, he was actually part of that sprint tour last yeah, year exactly. as well. What would have you noticed from Tolu there in terms of you know that desire to keep playing for Australia? Yeah, I think he did, and I think he showed that on the field. Um, he's in around training. Uh, he was kind of cool in the stuff he did, um, and then out in the field, he, he produced that as well. Chance to get the Tars this weekend against the Crusaders. Um, yeah, obviously Crusaders are um, a great team, uh, but we've been, like I said before, we've been training in the in the right way. Uh, there was a couple, couple curveballs thrown at us early last week, um, which resulted in that result. Um, so yeah, uh, there's no word of a lie. We're gonna have to bring our uh, top top game to this to this matchup, but um, I'm full confidence in the lads watching them train and get it done. So we're at that competition at, um, at Australian level, but at New South Wales in that back row, but you have Gamble, Harris, Rubone, all really stepping up. And just a comment on how you've seen their real, their development and whether that's just, you know seeing those guys really take that next step, just makes you sort of itching to return. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, like, like you said, it's great to see those lads step up. We've had uh, Will Harris uh, playing for for two years now, uh, one and a half. Um, so to see him um, really find his stripes is is, is exciting to watch. Um, and then Raboni come in. He's uh, just a real class attacker. Um, and then Gamble has just uh, really turned it up notches. So yeah, to watch that, it's uh, it, it does make me. Um, want to get backed out there. Um, but in saying that, I'm, a, I'm happy and stoked for them because the aspects they're bringing um, to the TARS is real important.